You're encouraged and invited to start in any way that's comfortable for you. You could be seated or reclined, or you could start in child's pose. And if you choose to be reclined, you can place a bolster underneath your knees or underneath the length of your spine. If you're seated, take a block if needed. And if you're reclined, relax heavenly into the support underneath you. And if you're seated, more energy to lift up through the center of your chest and the top of your head, maintaining a length and support through your spine. Start to lengthen your breath. Even bringing a count to your breath and doubling the length of your exhalation or as comfortably as you can. Allow not only your body to be still, but try to bring that quality into your mind as well. Focusing on the sensations of breathing. Feel free to lengthen out the time you spend in centering. But if you have a prop underneath you or you're seated, just move the prop away and return onto your back. Now once you're on your back, bend your knees and walk your feet back towards your bum and bring your right knee up into your chest. Wrap your hands or arms around your shin and pull your knee a little closer towards your torso. It feels okay and needed. Bring your nose up towards your knee to deepen the forward fold and the stretch in your back body. Now lower your shoulders back to your mat. Do the same with your right foot. And start to rock your knees from side to side. Moving at a comfortable place, pace and through a range of motion that suits your body's needs in the moment. Now the next time your knees pass through center, bring your left knee up into your chest. Take your hands to your shin and pull your thigh a little closer to your torso. If you did on the last side, lengthen your back body by bringing your knee and nose together. And lower your shoulders and left foot. Once your left foot comes down, once again start to rock your knees from side to side and this time add a turn to your head in the opposite direction your knees are flowing. Just to loosen up the tissues in your upper spine as well as your low. Now next time your knees pass through center, Bring both knees up into your chest, take your hands to your shins and start to move your toes. And try to move your toes independently from one another. And point them forward and flex them back and move your ankles clockwise and counterclockwise. Now with your knees still bent, lower your feet back to your mat with your ankles still underneath your knees. Now push firmly and evenly down through all four corners of your feet and lift your hips on your breath in until you feel some tension in the front of your pelvis and a little compression in your lower back. On your exhalation, place your hips back down to your mat gently. And just continue to move your hips up and down with the flow of your breathing, up on your in-breath, down on your exhalation. And you're invited to add movement of your arms here to help open up your shoulders in a gentle way. So as you lift your hips, extend your arms up and towards the floor behind your shoulders. And as you exhale, lower your hips and place your hands by your side. And again, continue to be guided by your breath.
On the next time your hips and hands come down, place the soles of your feet together to touch and allow your knees to part towards the edges of your mat. Now we'll hold this for about 30 to 45 seconds. And in that time, if you find that you do want some support for the weight of your legs, place the harder foam blocks just to your upper outer thighs. So your thighs lift a little and the weight of your legs is largely held in the support of the blocks. And if no such support is needed, just allow your legs to be drawn down towards the ground with gravity. And stay very intentional in keeping your breath deep and extended. Now if needed, and to bring your legs back together, you can place your hands to your outer thighs and just help to push your knees back together. Then from there, bring them up into your chest. Hug your thighs in towards your torso. Then you can bring your nose to your knees. Now to get to your seat, you can take this shape and rock up and down the length of your mat, or you can roll over to a side and push up off the side, whatever gets you there safely and comfortably. Now once seated, you can choose to be cross-legged if it's okay for your knees and the rest of your body. But you can also extend your legs out in front of you or place the soles of your feet together in cobbler's pose or bound angle. Again, choose whatever shape works best for your body. Now place your left hand down by your left hip. Extend upwards through your right arm with your palm facing towards the left and lean over to that side, the left side gathering tension and a stretch in the right side of the torso. Breathe into that side. Now keep extended with your right arm, but bring your shoulders back up over top of your hips and place your right hand on the left side of your head. Now gently bring your right ear a little closer to your right shoulder as you walk your left fingertips out and even reach your fingertips towards the left and turn your palm upwards, your fingertips upwards. Fingertips upwards. Try to bring a tension down the left side of your neck. It may even move into your arm in some places. And a gentle tilt forward and back of your chin. Extend your right arm back up, release your head, take your left hand behind your hips, place your fingers on the ground, take your right hand to your outer left thigh, breathe in to find length in your spine, and from the base of your spine start to twist towards the left side, and then move a little more deeply into the twist in the center of your chest, if you're, it's comfortable to do so into your neck as well. Keep your right hand as it is. Start to come out of your twist and bring your left arm over top of your right arm, winding up your arms for like eagle arms. You can grab your shoulders, the backs of your hands, or palms can all come together. Now roll back on your seat, push your middle back towards the wall behind you, push forward through your forearms, and stretch out your middle back. Roll forward on your sit bones, unwind your arms, place your hands by your hips, both hands by your hips. Push into your fingertips, lift up through the center of your chest and squeeze your inner shoulder blades a little closer together. Just to help stretch and broaden you across your chest. Now come back to a neutral spine and walk your right fingertips out by your right hip. Extend your left arm up towards the seat. And lean over towards 
right side of the room. Breathe deeply into the left side of your torso. Stay extended through your left arm or bring your shoulders back up over top of your hips and place your left hand on the right side of your head. Once again, gently draw your left ear a little closer towards your shoulder and walk your right fingertips out to the right. And again, the option here to reach your right fingertips out towards the side wall or turn them up towards the ceiling. Release your head, extend your left arm up and take your right fingertips just behind your pelvis. Twist towards the right side, place your left hand on your outer right thigh, lift up on your breath in and start the twist from the base of your spine on your breath out, moving up the middle of your chest and your neck to deepen the twist. Again, always be guided by your breath to find the appropriate depth of each pose, each shape. your left hand on your thigh but start to take your right hand off the ground cross your right arm over top of your left arm it's there unwind your arms as you would for eagle arms once again your shoulders and the backs of your hands or palms can all be connected and once they are roll back on your seat push forward through your forearms stretch out through your middle back so you feel your shoulder blades flare towards the outer edges of your back just a couple of breaths to roll forward on your seat, lift up through the center of your chest, unwind your arms and place your hands once again by your hips. Just a little counter stretch, push down through your fingers, lift up through your chest, pull the heads of your shoulders back. And then come back to a neutral spine, interlace your fingers and start to roll your wrists, just loosening up your wrists. And give your hands a little shake out. Make your way to all fours, tabletop position. And here, if there's any discomfort having your knees on your mat, you're invited to roll a blanket over the width of your mat if you'd, if you'd like. Now take your knees a little wider than your hips. Move your bum back towards your heels for child's pose. You can keep your arms extended out in front of you, or you can wrap your arms either around or thread them through your thighs. Breathe deeper. Now come back up to all fours. Your knees underneath your hips. Spread your fingertips nice and wide apart. On your exhalation, round your back, bring your chin into your chest, lengthen down through your tailbone, and pull your belly button up towards your middle spine. And on your in-breath, allow the middle part of your spine around your belly button to lower. Tilt your hips up and lift your head, bring your chest forward. Exhale to round your back. And inhale to extend your spine. Chest moving forward, round your head up, tailbone. Exhale to round. Now I encourage in this space to invite any other movement that you might feel is needed, necessary, wanted. Anybody would like to take this to downward facing dog, tuck your toes, move your bum back towards your heels, make sure your hands are very strong, and then lift your knees and your hips up off the ground without having your shoulders come back over top of your, your wrists. And here, making this again a posture, you move, you can pedal your heels, rock your hips. Try to allow the muscles of your neck to relax, 
The weight of your head can be felt tugging into the tissues above you. For those in downward facing dog, place your knees back to the ground. Everybody come to all fours. Now step your left foot forward. When you step your left foot forward, keep your blocks close by. Push your hands into your blocks. Start to lift your chest away from your left thigh. From here, you can either take your hands to your thigh or hips. Now allow your pelvis to continue to sink forward towards the front edge of your mat. Keep it there through the pull back of your left foot. Start to lift up through the center of your chest and you can take your hands from your hips and extend them up towards the ceiling so your biceps are by your knees. Once again, maintain calmness and length in your breathing. When your next natural exhalation rolls around, place your hands back onto blocks and walk them back towards your right knee. As you do, lengthen out your left leg and lift your toes. From here, push down into your blocks, create length in your spine. On your next in-breath, allow your torso to come away from your left thigh. And on your exhalation, pull your left hip back, move your chest forward, down. And subsequent breath cycles have that same quality where you find length on your inhalation, Perhaps a little bit more closeness to your left thigh on your exhalation. And one final one. And then bend your left knee, walk your hands forward once again. Just take your block to the side and place your hands on your mat. And then heel toe your left foot loose until you can extend your left leg towards the back wall hip height with your toes turned down. Your option here is to do this movement with just your leg or you can add your opposite arm. So extend your right arm forward. Now exhale and round your back. Pull your right elbow back and your left knee forward and up. And on your in-breath extend left leg back, right arm forward and lift them a little further up. Exhale to round, elbow and knee come together. Inhale, extend. Exhale to round breathe in, extend, and place your hand and your knee back to the ground. Now here you're invited to move back to child's pose or to downward facing dog for five breaths. back up to all fours. This time step your opposite foot forward, so right foot forward. Once so again, keep your blocks close by and your hands can start on blocks here. If you do it on the last side, it's, you're able on this side, place your hands either on your thigh or your hips. Allow your hips to come forward and down through the pole of your right foot. Start to lift up through the center of your chest and finally your arms. Maintain the pole of your right foot, and on your in-breath, a lift from the center of your chest. And when you breathe out, place your hands back onto blocks. Walk your hands towards your left knee. Again, lengthen out your right leg. Always keep a small bend in your knee if there's any discomfort in the back of your knee. Breathe in to find a space away from your right thigh. In that space, lengthen your chest forward, pull back through your right hip, and exhale. Walk your hands forward, bend into your right knee. Place your blocks to the side, hands to your mat, and then walk your 
right foot loose. Extend it towards the back wall. Your left arm forward. <clears throat> Exhale to round your back, pull your right knee forward, left elbow back, squeeze them up. Breathe in to extend and lift. Just follow your breathing. Two more. And place your knee and hand to the ground. Now here once again, five more breaths. Invited to take them. Downward facing dog, child support. on our backs. So if you're in downward facing dog, place your knees softly to the ground. Keep your props close by. And then recline onto your back. And once you're on your back, extend your left leg up towards the ceiling and cross your left, the outer edge of your left foot to the midline of your right thigh. Keep a flexion through your left toe, so flexing back towards your shin. If you feel that you can lift your right foot off the ground without pressing your lower back into your mat, then lift your right foot off the ground and take your hands to the back of your right leg. Thread your left arm through your inner thighs, and your right hand, right arm comes around to meet it. Push down through the tip of your tailbone, try to lighten any pressure that you might feel in your lower back. And use the strength of your outer left hip to try to move your left knee further away from your shoulder. And for those that may feel a compression in the upper part of their spine, around their neck, you could always place a block underneath the back of your head. Release your right leg, lower your foot, take your hands down by your side and left foot down. Now extend your right leg up towards the ceiling. Cross your foot over to your left thigh. And again, the flexion through your right toes just helps to keep your ankle and your knee both safe, stable, and stable. If you did on the last side, bring your left foot off the ground, thread your right hand in between your inner thighs, and your left hand comes around your left thigh. Once again, if you felt the little tilt of your pelvis upwards to grab your leg, try to push the tip of your tailbone back down. And on this side, use the strength of your outer right hip to move your right knee a little bit more distantly from your shoulder. Lower your left foot and place your right foot to the ground. When your right foot meets your mat, start to rock your knees from side to side. If there's any other movement that just feels needed or appropriate here, you're invited to do. Now find your blue block. <laughs> Specific there. <laughs> or eight. Place it in between your knees. Walk your feet a little further towards your bum. And place your arms down by your sides. Push down from your shoulders to your fingers and evenly through the soles of your feet. And lift your hips. Keep pressure from your inner thighs into the block. Now if you're able, to interlace your fingers underneath your backside. Hug your arms towards one another, you may find a little bit more space across your chest. And ensure that your inner heels and big toe mounds on both feet stay firm.
and take your hands apart. Slowly lower your bum back to your mat. Place the block to the side. And here your body might call for something. It could be to bring your knees to your chest or once again to rock them from side to side when it feels good. Now place your feet back to the ground and find again your block or it could be a bolster or some pillows. But press down through your feet and slide the block underneath your pelvis. And again, it could be one or two blocks placed together for a little more support. And once your pelvis is grounded on your blocks, you can keep your feet on the ground or extend your legs up towards the ceiling. And then you have the same option with your arms to keep them on the ground or extend them up towards your feet. If you feel a lot of sensation in this shape, in the back of your legs, you feel there's a lot of core strength needed to keep your legs lifted. Bend your knees and allow your thighs to come a little closer towards your torso. It'll soften both of those sensations. Lower your feet to your mat or your arms. Take the props out from underneath. Put them to the side. And then lift and place your bum on the left side of your mat. Walk your feet over to that same side. Allow your knees to come down on the right side of your mat. Here you can take a block in between your knees just to help you keep your pelvis more neutral. Try to keep your arms extended out at shoulder height. You can play with the position of your arms again, depending on what you feel in your shoulders. Try to breathe deeply on the left side of your ribcage, all the way from your shoulder down to your outer left hip. safely, always with control. Try and start to bring yourself out of your twist, tone through your low belly. You can bring your legs at the same time or one at a time back to center. And then move your bum over to the right side of your mat. Place your knees onto the left side. Once again, try to stay heavy with your arms. Even the weight of your arms is a gentle stretch fronts of your shoulders, perhaps even felt across your chest. Breathe deeply in the right side of your ribcage. Again, slowly and very carefully unwind. Enter yourself in the middle of your mat. If you have a prop between your knees, just place it over to the side. Your knees could be one at a time or both at the same time up into your chest. Hug your shins, thighs a little closer to you. Shoulders can stay grounded or you can lift shoulders away from your mat and bring your nose up to your knees. Gentle rock from side to side or up and down the length of your spine. Feel nice. And now lower your shoulders, lower your feet. Extend your right leg forward and stretch it out to the top right corner of your mat and then just relax. Extend your left leg forward, stretch out to the top left corner of your mat and relax. So preparing for Shavasana, again, this is a time that props are helpful here to use your props whatever, however they make you feel comfortable.
And breathe deeply in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Stay focused on your breathing. Allow the comfort and length of your breath bring ease to your body, to your mind. if you have the time and the space for it. In this one, bend your knees, walk your feet back towards your bum. And roll over to your right side. If you'd like to spend a few breaths in the fetal position, keep your right arm extended so you can rest your head in the softness of your right arm. Allow for a few breaths here. And when you're ready to come to your seat, push through your left hand. Taking the support that's needed. A moment as important as any other in practice is the acknowledgement of the time you've taken. softly together at heart center. 